Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com. I'm at my live active site, Jupiter Jim's marketing team. The easiest way to get there is just go to jupitergym.com and there'll be a link at the top of that page bringing you to my blog right here. Um, before we get started, I'd like to ask you or suggest that you sign up right here Put in your name, your email address, so you will get my blog posts and videos and discounts and things like that in your email box directly. Okay, I'm going to scroll to the bottom of my site, and you can see what we have here is what's called the fat footer or a widgetized footer, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, only we're going to have three widgets instead of four. Okay, I got the code, by the way, from DIY Themes, the creator of Thesis Theme. And you do need to use or have the Thesis Theme in order to apply this video to your site. Okay, here's my demonstration blog. And I'm going to just scroll real fast, just get real fast to the bottom. And you can see it's not a fat footer, it's not a widgetized footer. Now, I did customize the copyright down here and, and centered it and I did that in another video that you can find at jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com but on top of that we're going to put the widgetized footer okay the first thing we need to do is get the code this is the CSS code I'm going to show you where to paste that in a minute so I'm just going to press control A control C I'm going to copy everything um, I happen to be using the net beans. If you copy and paste any code, use Notepad for Windows or WordPad and Mac, something real simple because Microsoft Word can contain hidden code, so that's really not good for copying and pasting code. Okay, so let's click here, and this is the dashboard of Jim's Max JXL marketing team, the demo demonstration site I was just looking at. So let's go over here. You want to go to Thesis, go to Custom File Editor, Okay, um, you can see right there it's a custom CSS. We're just going to scroll to the bottom. Let me scroll this up a little bit here. Scroll to the bottom, and this is the customized text up, up here. But anyways, I'm just going to press Control V, Command V on a Mac, or Command Victor, and you just put that code, this is the code that we just copied and pasted, and this is where it is, and when we're done with that, just hit that big green save button. Okay, now we're going to copy and paste the PHP code. So that's right here, and I'll just give you a quick look at it. Okay, I've got this PHP thing at the top, that's, you're not going to copy that. So now I'm just going to hit Control A, Control C to copy everything. Command A and Command C on a Mac. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to minimize this. Now you can see we're at the Thesis Custom Editor, File Editor up there. We want to go to customfunctions.php. Don't worry about this old stuff, that's just because it's a demonstration site. So you're going to go to customfunctions.php, you're going to hit this green Edit Selected File button. Okay, and when I do that, this immediately pops up. This thing right here, it's giving you a dire warning, make sure, make dadgum sure you back this file up using an FTP program right there because if you leave out so much as one semicolon your whole dashboard can go white you can cause major major problems to your site this is a programming language you don't want to mess around with it if you go to Jupiter Jim's marketing team I also have several great videos on how to use the FileZilla FTP program and specifically how to back up this custom functions.php file okay so that's the file we're in right now we're just gonna scroll to the bottom Okay, and just at the bottom of this file, hit the back button a couple of times, control V, like control Victor, command V on a Mac to paste, and there's the end of the fat footer PHP code, and if I scroll up a little bit, you can see that's the start of the fat footer code. I'm going to click that big green save button. Okay, 
I'm going to go back to the demonstration site. I'm going to hit that refresh button. I just happen to be in Google Chrome. That's the browser I'm using. Okay, before I scroll down, I'm going to wait. Okay, and there it is. There's the fat footer. And you can see this whole section is yellow. Now, if you don't want yellow or if you don't want any color in the footer background at all, I'm going to show you how to modify that. So we're going to go back to the custom CSS. And I'm going to edit that right in the file because that's not as dangerous as the custom functions.php file to mess around with. Plus, I've already backed it up anyways. OK, so this is where you get the background, that light yellow background color, this right here. If you want to change that, you would just pick a color, you know, like green, and you would just control C, go up here. Control V to paste it. Hit that big green save button. Go here, hit the refresh button. And as you can see, the whole section becomes green. If you don't want any color at all, as I had originally promised to show you, um, what you're going to do just before that semicolon, just delete everything and just type in transparent. OK, transparent. Or you could simply just delete the whole thing. Either way, you'll get the same result. Uh, the reason I like transparent is because the code will be left there in case you want to go back and change the color later. Go down here, hit that big green Save button. Back up here. OK, and you can see we've gotten rid of all that background information. This is still nicely centered down there. OK, one more thing I'd like to show you before I sign off is I'm going to show you a way to stylize each one of these widgets, 1, 2, and 3. Say, for instance, you wanted to change the color of this font. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, these are anchor tags. These are hyperlinks, so it's a little different than just changing the font color, but I'm going to show you where to do that. So let's just go back here into the custom editor. You can see we're right there, custom CSS. Scroll down, and where it says custom, the, this area right there is where you would stylize each of the widgets. So I'm just going to change the color of the text in that middle widget. Um, and you can see that I've got, there's the code. Now, if you want to change other aspects, you can go to DIY forums and ask them. Uh, you can go to w3schools.com and get more information about how you would use CSS code. Uh, you can always uh, post a question on my blog post with this video on my website, and hopefully I'll be able to help you. So after you change the CSS code for one of these footers, you just go down here, you click the big green Save button. Go up here, I'm going to hit Refresh. Now watch the color down there, that should change. OK, and as you can clearly see, the color of the font changed from a purplish color to a black color. And that's basically all there is to it. If you liked it, please click the like button, share with friends, family, neighbors, and loved ones. Leave a comment on my blog. Take care and have a great day.